down Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Christmas makeup tutorial because <laughs> it's about time. I have actually been requested to do an updated makeup tutorial, which I'm not sure if she's talking about like, you know, like an everyday makeup tutorial or like a tutorial. So, you know, it's a perfect time to do a Christmas makeup tutorial. Logic. I have not got a Christmas video out this year and I don't even know why because Christmas is by far my favorite holiday and I absolutely love it and I seriously cannot believe I haven't done a Christmas makeup tutorial or a video in general and it's literally like six, five or six days away from Christmas. But before we get started, I'm just going to say thank you guys for getting me so close to 1,000 subscribers. By the time I may get this up, I may actually already be at 1,000. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and say thank you guys so much. I do not thank you guys enough, and I love you guys so much, and thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me. It seriously means so much. So enough with the cheesiness, um, let's just get started in the holiday makeup tutorial. So I'm first gonna start out with primer, and I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And if you see me looking over there, that's because there's a mirror there. For my brows, I'm using the NYX Micro Brow, and mine broke. Where is my mirror? Oh. I have to use my e.l.f. spoolie and then my micro brow. But really, I just need to get a new micro brow because this is really annoying. And if you guys want a more in-depth brow tutorial, I'll make sure to do that. <laughs> just leave a comment down below. I'm just going to quickly set them in place with the Essence Lash and Brow Gel. I love this stuff. Next, I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Essence Eye Heart Color Intensifying Eye Primer. Also, just quickly set my eyelids with the Stay Matte. So, I think I'm going to be doing a more wearable eye look today. So, I'm first going to start off with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Cornelius. And this is a really good transition shade for just about any eye look you can do. And by the way, I got this eyeshadow from Isabella. So... Shout out to her. Next, I'm going to use this ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Fade In. And it's just a darker brownish shade with almost like a reddish undertone i'm going to be putting it in the outer half of my eye and then in the crease area then i'm going to go in with the modern renaissance palette and take the shade red ochre this one i'm using the morphe m433 brush and i'm going to put it on the outer corner of my eye and kind of work the extra into the crease I don't really know. I'm not going to put too much because it's like so pigmented. And I'm going to go back into Cornelius and just add that transition back in to blend out any harsh edges. And for the lid shade, I'm going to use Primavera from the Modern Renaissance and put it on my lid. <laughs> then for lower lash, I'm going to go into the next Ulti... The NYX Ultimate Brights Palette and use the green shade. For foundation, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And you're probably thinking, Ashlyn, I thought you didn't like this foundation. Well, I didn't, but then I got a different shade. Um, and it works a lot better. And it's actually my color. And it, it's just overall much better for some reason. I'm actually going to try blending my foundation out with the brush today. This is the e.l.f. Powder Brush. <laughs> Definitely not what it's supposed to be used for, but... I'm going to try it out. That actually worked surprisingly well, and that will not be the last time I blend it out with that brush. Concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. So, in case you guys are wondering, I do have school this week, and it's really, really pointless because we're literally doing nothing. For bronzer slash contour, I'm using the Kat Von D Shading Light Palette. I've been using this non-stop lately. I absolutely love it. I actually got it at TJ Maxx. For some reason, they had a lot there, so I made sure to pick one up. I love it so much. For blush, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Mellow Wine. I feel like I haven't used it in a while, and it kind of is a little red-ish. Ooh. I guess we're going for rosy cheeks today. For glow, I'm using the Anastasia Aurora, not Aurora, the Anastasia Sun Dipped Glow Kit. And I absolutely love this glow kit. It's really good, and I would highly recommend. I like using these two shades, but usually I will use this one. Love both of them. I'm gonna try to go for a super poppin' highlight, and I'll probably actually go into my Aurora also. It has a nice green shade in there, so I'll probably take advantage of that for the holidays. I really hope you guys can see this, because I can. I've decided I'm gonna use some of Helia also from the Aurora Glow Kit. I feel like these aren't as pigmented, and I feel like I had to dig in more, but I guess it'll be worth it in the end. 
I really hope this highlighter is showing up on camera because for mascara, I'm using the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. Love this mascara, y'all already know. Life hack, if you ever get mascara like on your eyelid, which is like every time for me, just wait for it to dry and then take a spoolie and it'll like come right off. For lips, I'm using the MAC Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Ruby Woo. It's like the top selling lipstick ever, so it's like, it's really good. It's just kind of hard to apply because it's so dry. So besides the terrible application, this lipstick and this whole look turned out pretty good in my opinion. That's the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to comment down below if you guys have any video suggestions. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!